Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Today I want to show you how to add titles like PowerPoint in your video using the latest version of Premiere Pro CC 2018. So we're just going to start off by creating a new project and it's going to be a blank project with nothing in it. I'm just going to give it a random name just say tutorial text project and just click OK and it's going to open up a brand new project and your layout might look a little bit different to what I have but if we can all be on the same layout and that is on the top panel here let's go to graphics and just click this little three bars button and choose reset to save layout for graphics because we're going to be inserting the text uh, which is part of the essential graphics panel and I'm just going to drag in a video that I'm going to add the text to so um, I'm just going to add a video just going to drag it in Okay, so there's my video that I've just dragged into the window. It should come up soon. So there's my video. Sorry, there was a bit of a lag, but anyway, so I'm going to mute the sound so it doesn't distract from what we're talking about. But um, so, yeah, I want to talk about how to add a title and the essential graphics panel on the right is basically where we go for that in this latest version. So if you can't find this panel, you can also go to the window and just make sure essential graphics is ticked and you should be able to find that. For, so for example, let's say I'm in the editing panel and essential graphics is not there. I can just go to window essential oops window essential graphics to turn that on and I'm going to turn this off so I can basically see this panel but I'm just going to switch back to graphics cuz that's probably the easiest way okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the text on the screen now the most basic way is to just click edit and you go to a point where you want to insert the text on your timeline. Let's say I want to insert it right here. Then inside edit, you can choose the new layer button. And you can choose whether you want text, vertical text, rectangle, ellipse, or whatever you want to insert on the screen. So let's just insert text. And you can see that some new text has appeared. You can just double click on it to edit it. So let's say I'm going to say running tutorial magic monk. Actually, I'm just going to have running tutorial there. And you can edit the font. So I'm going to just choose some. You can see some example uh, examples of what the font will look like on the right hand side. And when there's a little arrow, you can also click on that to get some more examples from that font, some sub fonts. So let's um, let's just choose Broadway. Oh, Broadway is, oops, you probably have to highlight it and choose Broadway. Okay, running tutorial. You can change the size of it over here and there are various things you can change the color for example whatever color you want um, color okay and while it's selected you probably can't really see it so you might have to unselect it okay and running tutorial if you're happy with that color 
and you can also add a bit of shadow if you're happy with it click out of that I'll let you guys change or play around with the other settings uh, once you have the text on the screen and you're happy with where you're placing it things like that to add effects to it there are a couple new ways to do that okay so with the new title that you've just created okay you can either go to effects controls on the left and my video is blocking that I'll just drag this down a bit so these are the effects you can control okay for the um, for the words that you've just added okay so if you click on the text over here you can see that under the effects it's also selected okay and if you scroll down a bit in this window you will see that there is a transform option so I was looking at the source text and that's where you change a color or whatever these things are it's shadow or whatever it is so tick this downward arrow to minimize the source text window and go to transform and this is where you can control things like um, when you want it to appear a, a few animations basically okay so let's say that I want it to not appear at this point so at this point in the timeline or you can just drag this line here it's the same thing go to the left and I don't want it to show at this point so opacity is going to be zero and then it shows up after a few milliseconds or after a few seconds it shows up so then I will turn the opacity up to a hundred at this point so actually it didn't register so let's go back to the beginning click on this little button here to toggle the animation and that is going to create a keyframe and at this keyframe I'm gonna make the percentage zero and then if we scroll to the right a little bit click this button again to create another keyframe and then change your percentage to a hundred and what this does is it'll automatically morph the opacity between these two keyframes okay so you can see that when I drag this line it goes from 0% to 100% All right, each keyframe is basically where you want the particular setting to be true so if I want to have 0% here 100% here it'll automatically increment between the keyframes okay so when I'm playing I'm just gonna move this to the beginning just to make it easier to show you guys so I've got running tutorial show up and let's say I want it to disappear after a little while so let's say after a little while so let me just change the duration of that after a little while I want it to start disappearing at about this point so I create a little keyframe here to say starting here it's a hundred percent but go to the right towards the end it's going to be create another keyframe zero percent okay so it's gonna running tutorial shows up and then after a while it's gonna start disappearing so you can see that it disappears okay so let's say that let's say that I want another line of text to show up at this point at this point I want another line of text to show up 
let's move that a little bit higher let's move that a little bit higher okay so oh, running tutorial and then let's say I want magic monk to show up underneath that so I can just create another line of text okay and I'm gonna call it magic monk and I'm just gonna change the font again to something else highlight it change it to something else um, change the color to something else okay make it bold all right and then I can drag that down a bit to here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it appear after the running tutorial. So running tutorial shows up after a split second. I want the magic monk to appear right here. OK, so you can see this is the animation for running tutorial. This is the animation for magic monk. So I just want to see the transforms and I want it so that after the running tutorial appears a little bit later so click the opacity here click toggle animation make it zero and then a little bit to the right click the key frame again make it a hundred okay and if you click on this arrow here it'll bring up even more settings to do with the velocity and things like that how fast things are changing but um, it's probably too advanced right now let's just leave that alone for now and let's just keep it to this so let's try it out so let's click play My running tutorial appears magic monk appears okay and now running tutorial is going to end and let's make both end at the same time so go to where if you click go to next keyframe it'll go to the exact location where the running tutorial is 100 percent so i'll create the same keyframe for the magic monk text to be 100 percent and then go to the next keyframe where the um, opacity for the running text is zero percent and i'll create a keyframe here as well and make it zero percent as well so they should both disappear at the same time okay so let's have a look running tutorial magic monk and then they both disappear at the same time okay so this is how you create text like PowerPoint in the latest version of Premiere Pro 2019 thanks for watching guys see you next time hey guys it's Eddie the